Hello friends and welcome back to my session. I am Dr. Priya Singh, Assistant Professor, Department of Tourism and Hospitality Management, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. We have been discussing series of lectures on sustainable tourism, but we cannot neglect a very important topic that we are going to do today, which is approaches in sustainable tourism. So today in our session, we will be discussing about the overview of sustainable tourism, we will understand the concept and define sustainable tourism. We will also know what is triple bottom line approach, what we understand by responsible travel, sustainable accommodation, destination management, technology and innovation and we will conclude. So to begin with we should understand the overview of sustainable tourism. As we explore the fascinating world of sustainable tourism, we come to know about the very important topic that is environmental challenges. So this is the growing concern and mean it is imperative for the tourism industry to adapt to approaches that will prioritize sustainability. That we should do every activity in a sense that we are not going to harm the environment. Also, today we will delve into various approaches that constitutes the sustainable tourism and which is the transforming in a way itself. Also, we will discover how these approaches can help us to create a positive and a lasting impact on the environment, society and economy. So to begin with, we should understand what is sustainable tourism. Sustainable tourism, as you can see, can be defined as a concept or an approach that aims to minimize the negative impacts of tourism on the environment, society and also on the economy while also benefiting the local communities and promoting the economic growth. So any activity of tourism which should not affect the economy, the nature and also should positively impact and should be available for the future generation exploitation also. It involves responsible travel practices that conserve natural resources, it respects local cultures and support the well-being of both the visitor and the host communities. Now why is it important? Why do we need to discuss that sustainable tourism is important and should be practiced? Because the number one and most foremost is environmental conservation. The traditional tourism had no thought how do we impact the environment but it can also play a very significant role that today the tourism is contributing to lot of activities which will not harm the environment. Traditionally the tourism was a burden on the ecosystem. It had contributed to habitat degradation, pollution and depletion of the natural resources whereas on the contrary the sustainable tourism seeks to mitigate these impact preserving the biodiversity and maintaining the ecological integrity of the destinations. The second is community empowerment. In sustainable tourism, the local communities often bear the brunt of tourism development. But in this case, the sustainable tourism aims to empower and engage the local residents in also decision making process and allow them to benefit economically, socially and culturally from the various tourist activity that happen at a particular destination. Next is economic growth. Tourism has always been a very powerful economic driver and it generates lot of income and employment opportunities. By adopting sustainable practices rather, the destinations can ensure the equitable distribution of tourist generated revenue and also thereby contributing to the local economic development. Apart from the economy and also the environment, sustainable tourism can contribute to cultural preservation. The sustainable tourism recognizes and respects the cultural heritage and tradition of the host community. 
it encourages tourists to get engaged into authentic and real time interactions fostering the cultural exchange and preserving the local identity and also i would like to inform that it is a moral duty of any tourist visiting any tourist destination that he should celebrate and respect the culture and tradition of a particular destinations next is long term viability the sustainable tourism takes a long term perspective it's not very momentary like it happens today and it will be over tomorrow no it's a very long term visionary plan which takes into account like focusing on preserving resources and ensuring the viability of tourism for future generations it seeks to strike a balance between the need of present and preservation of resources for the future use so it's not only a form of tourism which will be depleted for the tomorrow generation no we are doing activities keeping in mind that it should be also available for the future generation as well so now we will understand this was about the importance of sustainable tourism now we should also know what is triple bottom line approach so triple bottom line stands for three approaches like environment society and economy the sustainable tourism is often viewed through the lens of triple bottom line approach which encompasses three pillars and these are the three pillars environment society and the economy so what is environmental sustainability now this pillar emphasizes the need to minimize the negative impacts of tourism on environment it involves various practices which are very less harmful to the environment like conservation of natural resources that we should try to conserve and use more of natural resources so that it's not depleted reduction of carbon emissions there should be less carbon footprints and less carbon emissions protection of biodiversity and also sustainable waste management so this was about environmental sustainability how we can contribute to the environment while practicing tourist activities in a sustainable manner now we will talk about social sustainability even the burden of society is on us so no tourist activity can actually neglect it so social sustainability focus on promoting the well-being of local communities and also preserving their cultural heritage which is utmost important it involves empowering communities respecting local customs supports local businesses and involve residents in decision making processes so they should not be left and they should not feel aloof that they are not having any opinions in the decision since the destination belong to them they are the host communities and they are the natives and the local of a destination so they have equal opinion to be given they have equal rights to present their opinions in the process of any form of decision making so this social sustainability will empower them to have major role in the contributions next is economic sustainability most important and economic sustainability in tourism involves ensuring that the tourist activities contribute to local economic development not only one any one big private player should be benefited rather the local developments at various levels and categories should take place which creates employment opportunity and provide fair and equitable benefits for everybody to all the stakeholders of the tourism it emphasizes the importance of responsible tourist practices and also the equitable distribution of tourism revenues that means why only one person should benefit it through this activity let all the stakeholders have equal share and they should be benefited equally now we will talk to the other approach discuss that would be responsible travel which is very ethical and mindful tourism a part of ethical and a mindful tourism so what is the principles of responsible tourism firstly first is the principle of responsible tourism will come definitely with a sense of responsibility and the responsibility will not only be towards one segment rather it will be towards different pillars like the minimizing the environmental impact at first place so we will not have any activity i have been repeatedly telling that we should try to have such efforts that we should not have any harmful impact on the environment so we will minimize all the environmental impact of tourism also we will support the local culture and tradition now comes the social responsibility that we as a traveler or a tourist not only have one responsibility rather we have certain 
things to pay back to the society as well. So, what we can do and how we can do supporting the local cultures and traditions. And even you should not be surprised to know that today's youth is moreover traveling to a destination in search of authenticity. They don't want anything which is unreal or plastic. So, they want to respect the culture, they want to immerse into and engage in lot of local activities which will be just giving them the view or the experience of their cultures and traditions. Also, we should be able to promote lot of social awareness and respect. If I be a consumer who is responsible, so it is my moral duty to also educate and try to convince my fellow travelers and also other tourists that they should be also and behaving responsibly will only arise if we think responsible. If we are not having that mindset of green mindset or thinking towards the ecology or towards the development, restoring the values, then we can never have that in action. So, the first thing is to have that in thought process and we should always be able to promote that through our activities, through our debates with the people. Then we will minimize the environmental impact. How can we do that? We can do it through sustainable transportation. We can do it through any activity like transport is very major when it comes to creating pollution. So, sustainable transport will be having using vehicles which have low fuel emissions or by going by footsteps or taking any pooling the public transports or having pool carts. So, that will minimize the and that will be called as a sustainable transportation that will minimize the impact of transport on the environment. We should always consume also sustainably. What does it mean? That we should make sustainable choices. Okay, if I am carrying anything, I will not use a plastic, I will use a paper bag. Let me use recyclable glass instead of having any plastic bottle. So, we should try to consume also all the products which are eco-friendly in nature and rather which are sustainable in nature. Then we should protect the natural and cultural heritage which is all about celebrating, respecting and embracing the culture and traditions of a local people. Next is what are the initiatives and campaigns which promote responsible travel? So, there are certain sustainable tourism certifications which gives like earth check or lead programs which will give them the certification that okay now whatever is being practiced is very sustainable in model. Also, there should be awareness campaigns and awareness campaigns the major role today where people can find awareness campaign and they can actually be convinced is through digital marketing or through social media platforms wherein they can see lot of hashtags, lot of campaigns running in the Facebook, on Twitter, also on the Instagram which is very much in trend these days. So, we should try to have certain awareness campaigns which can not only create a urge for the people to practice responsible tourism rather than it will also convince them and it will also educate them at first place that what actually they need to know about. They would be made aware at first and then they can practice later in their course of actions. Also, we should engage the tour operators and travel agencies in creating an impression or convincing the other people because they are the centers or they are the point of contact where the tourist actually comes and first discusses these things with them. So, they should be at first place being told about, being educated, being trained about talking and engaging them in various activities so that they can also reflect this with their tour packages as well. Now, we will talk about a very important segment which contributes to responsible tourism and all together to the sustainable approach which is sustainable accommodation that means greening hospitality. What does it mean? That we should have eco-friendly practices in the hotel and lodging sector like energy conservation programs. There are also tent cards kept these days which informs the guest that okay you are not supposed to use so much of energy. You are not supposed to waste any electricity. Also there are some smart devices. There would be lights which will automatically off when the guest leaves the room. There would be also some devices which will consume low power, which will have 5 star rating. So, this is all about energy conservation. Water conservation, the sensory taps that are used, the low depth uh, bathtubs, also the low uh, flow WCs are also installed in the rooms, which will try to have some water conservation. 
also there is a mechanism where the grey water can be used and recycled and used in other forms also the waste management practice we can have lot of waste management which can start from segregation of a waste into dry garbage and wet garbage and then we can have lot of tie ups with the other private players or with the ngos who can take the waste management responsibility seriously we can also have our own waste management plant which can produce lot of manure which can in a further process can used in the gardens or in the horticulture departments also sustainable materials and design any raw material that is used in the building or any approach that is used in designing any model should be sustainable and eco friendly in nature now we will talk about certain certifications standards for sustainable accommodations there are certain standards also which is about sustainable program like leed certification what does it it is the leadership in energy and environmental design which is a global recognized green building certification program if any institution organization or a hotel is practicing lot of green initiatives then he can that building can be leed certified because it is about green building certification it excesses energy efficiency it is based on water conservation indoor environmental qualities and also the correct and eco friendly material usage second is green key certification the green key certification is an international eco label for accommodation that meet there are certain parameters and specific sustainability criteria if a building meets that then it can be green key certified then we have earth check certification it is a leading certification and benchmarking program for the travel and tourism industry it accesses a wide range of environmental social and economic indicators which provide accommodation with a framework of sustainable management and performance improvement so now not only the campaigns certifications will work rather there should be certain guest engagement and education also the sustainable accommodation actively engage and educate guests about their green initiatives this includes that there should be some information provided about energy and water conservation practices there are also tent cards these days kept in the room wherein the guests can be aware by reading uh, on them that okay this hot particular hotel is practicing so and so initiatives promoting responsible and waste management encouraging the guest also they can do their part so what they can do is they can start reusing the towels and the linens they should not demand for every day change of linen because again it will have lot of impact on the environment it will waste lot of water use of detergent chemicals so that can be avoided from the guest part and offer them sustainable transportation options and local experiences that can align with the sustainable practices now comes the partnerships and collaboration nobody can do it in a stand alone position so sustainable accommodation often collaborates and it need for the collaboration with local communities like suppliers and organizations to foster sustainability they may source local and organic products support local artisans and businesses and engage in community development projects that benefits the surrounding areas as well reporting and continuous Im improvement nothing will work if there is no monitoring done so we have to report all the sustainable actions and also do a proper monitoring and a continuous improvement should be done to ensure ongoing sustainability green accommodation should establish monitoring and reporting system to track their environmental performance so if we are today very excited we will practice everything green and then tomorrow later we will just slow down and start ignoring and neglecting so that won't work this is a practice which has to be done for a longer duration and it should be an approach which has to be practiced even keeping in mind the use of it for a future generation so it has to be reported and continuous improvement should be done so there should be how we can do that we can conduct regular audits set goals for improvement and implement measures to continually enhance the sustainable practices now we will discuss something about destination management we have talked about sustainable accommodation wherein the guest will live and how he will behave now what about the destinations being managed how we can manage the destinations so we can have it through sustainable destination planning and development by keeping in mind we have also discussed it earlier carrying capacity assessment that at one particular point of time there should be a decided number or a figure 
that how many people will reach or visit that particular destination for a particular period of time. So, we should be very particular about the footfalls that how many people would be reaching to a particular destination over one point of time because we often hear the news like there has been road jams, there has been so much congestion on one particular destination especially during summers it happens in the hill stations. Then we should have a sustainable infrastructure development, any infrastructural development that are being taken place at a destination should be very sustainable in model. That means the design and also the materials that are being used should be eco-friendly and should not have major impact on the environment. Also the stakeholder engagement, every stakeholder of tourist activities should be engaged and should contribute to the ecological development or the sustainable tourism process. Then carrying capacity and visitor management is important. Also the visitors should be educated. They should not create a ruckus about it that we are not being allowed, why we are not being allowed. They should be patient and rather they should be educated and made aware about that what will cause if there is lot of chaos at one particular time, why we are restricting them, how they should learn to be a part of this sustainable campaign. Uh, this will only come through the education and interpretation. Also, there should be diversification of tourism offerings. That means not only one product should be offered, there should be a lot of options given to a tourist because it becomes very monotonous if we just say, okay, don't use this, just use this. No, we should always give him some types of options. All the options should be sustainable in nature so that he has also a sense of contentment that he has options to make choice with. He should be also aware to how to preserve the natural and cultural heritage. Any destination should try to have conservation and restoration plan. That means they should not ignore it. At any practice that we are doing in a tourist activity, we should try our level best to conserve a particular resource, not always to try to exploit it to an extent that it becomes extinct. No, we should try to restore it and conserve it for the future generation. We should try to have a very efficient cultural heritage management. We should try to have lot of sustainable tourism practices, which is all about respecting the environment, the cultures and value and also the economy. Now we will talk about the technological and innovation contribution in developing and advancing the sustainability in tourism. Do you really feel that technology has some part to play? I do feel because the technology and innovation play a very significant role in advancing the sustainability in tourism industry. They offer certain solutions to address lot of environmental challenges, improve the efficiency enhance the visitor experiences and also promote sustainable practices. So the major change that technology has caused is the reducing the impact on the environment. Like very uh, small example can be now technology has made and reduced the use of paper. Also now we have been cost saving so much on the use of paper that everything is digitalized and has been tech savvy. So now everything is available in just one click rather than having maintaining so much big registers which were even a very tedious job to do and also very it was very difficult to maintain the records as well. But how does it happen? How technology and innovation contribute to sustainability tourism? Through sustainable transports. Nowadays, so many developments of technology has made transportation also sustainable. Low emission fuel vehicles, also CNG vehicles, these are all because of the innovation and technology only. The smart destination management that everybody would come to know, okay, at this particular time, how many people have uh, been reaching at a particular destination through Google tagging, through Google maps, we, it is all about destination management. Also, the sustainable accommodation and operation play a very important part that now everything is energy conserved, no wastage of water, no wastage of energy is being at a sustainable accommodation. So that is also because of the result of tech and innovation, the digital communication and marketing. Now even today we don't have any paper based marketing or any hefty budgets of marketing which are being wasted and making no sense. It is today everybody is relying on only one source that is digital communication and marketing and that is also mainly through social media platforms. Then we have certain collaborative and innovation platforms wherein all such organizations, all such like-minded people and entrepreneurs, these startups can come together 
at one single platform and they can share their experiences rather every startup different startups with the same ideology and with the same intent to uh, words the nature and environment can come together and collaborate and work together for the progress of society nature and also the preservation of culture so now i would like to conclude the sustainable tourism is not just a buzzword but it is a vital approach that embraces the long term well being of a particular destination our planet local community and also the economy by adopting such approaches like ecotourism community based tourism responsible tourism sustainable accommodation destination management and leveraging on technology and innovation we can definitely pave the way for a more sustainable and responsible tourism industry so we being the citizens let's take a promise that we will all behave as a responsible citizen and also whenever we are making any tourist planning or any tourist activity then we should try to behave like a responsible tourist because it will all happens from one person initiative only if we are able to do or make a change or we are able to make do our bit then definitely other people will see they will also get influenced they will get convinced and they will also start doing their bit so now i would like to conclude and i hope you enjoyed my session and this was a learning session for you thank you and have a very good day Thank you.